Hello and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, where today we are going to be going through this door because we just got finished with this here world. And thus, we got to get back to Castle Oblivion. Hmm. What's up, Goof? What's the matter? It's that creepy castle that I was talking about earlier. I know I didn't imagine it. Cause that was the castle where Sora had to use the Keyblade to free Kyrie's heart. Then he just disappeared. And I was so worried. How could I ever forget that? Oh, it was when I turned into a Heartless. Wait. That happened in a castle? Yep. Uh, you forgot what? Because I remember both of you. Then what's it called? What is it, Hollow Bastion. Every word. I finished the first volume right before we got to this castle. Now then, if I can just find it. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, how could it be? What's the matter? Oh, my entries, they're gone. Every page is blank. What do we do? How could this have happened? I'm so careful with the journals. <laughs> All that hard work is gone. The journal's blank. What's going on? Yeah, when I first played this on the GBA, having not played the original Kingdom Hearts, I wasn't sure whether Hollow Bastion was ever even a real place. And no, Goofy, I will not help him rewrite the journal. That would mean replaying Kingdom Hearts 1, and that's never going to happen. Oh, hey. It's her again. What if it's more things? Huh? Goofy was telling us about another castle we've been to, but none of us really remembers it. Do you think? Could it be that we don't remember because we're losing our memories? That's what. Hold on. Remember what that mystery fella said? In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose is to find. It must have been our memories he was talking about losing. So if we keep going, we'll lose more. Guess it really is Castle Oblivion. So the higher we go, the more we'll forget? Riku and Kairi too. Do you want to go back? Don't worry, fillers. We might forget about where we've been or what things we've seen, but we won't forget who our friends are. I don't know. Come on, Sora. When you turned into a heartless, did you forget about me and Donald? Of course I didn't. There you go. No matter what happens, you won't forget your friends. Oh. You're right. Thank you, Goofy. So if you're stuck in here that can make you forget about your friends, then we are definitely to be scared of. Let's go! The 
but when I turned into a heartless, who was the one who took forever to notice and kept clobbering me? I don't recall anyone clobbering him. <laughs> also, losing our memories is like we can't remember because we're losing our memories. They said that as if it was a revelation. Like, that's what not being able to remember is okay we got agrabah we got wonderland we got monstro and we got halloween town um let's go to wonderland Oh, we're here, huh? So apparently they've forgotten everything. So before anything else, let's actually review our decks because we have gotten a bunch more CP, so getting stuff put into the deck isn't the worst of ideas. Oh, now we're already over. Dang it. Uh, what does this even do? Reloads all attack cards. Whereas this reloads reloadable attack cards. So this will get us our zeros back. And... With Cloud being only a four, I think we're probably better off without him. And we'll go ahead and actually... Uh, wait, how do I... No, I, I want that back, please. Please, thank you. How do I set this... As my... Quick use thing. Oh, shortcuts. There we go. All right. So now we've got S as our, or that uh, zero as our shortcut. Still don't know what the shortcut button is, though. Uh, does Jiminy's journal tell me? No, that's just story cards and characters. I need controls. Is it in here? Okay, so... Alright, this doesn't say how to use the quick use thing. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. All right, well, I guess we'll have to try some things to find out. Okay, so I can now confirm that L2 is not how to use the the special thing. Getting a Goofy on zero is 
pretty terrible. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, I am both playing terribly and also <laughs> these flowers are annoying. They have such high numbers. Oh, they killed Simba. They killed my uh, the, the ice. Thanks for the health, Donald. Would have been nice if you tried to kill the enemies, though. Okay, let's go ahead and stalk you, and you, and you. And then if we can get things, like, in a line, that would be ideal. Wait, where'd they go? Did I accidentally hit the button to remove them from the stock? Okay, I kind of missed the one I was targeting, but at least I hit the others. Alright, got him down. Ugh, stop breaking Simba! I hate these flowers. There, now you can't break Simba except with a zero. Oh, they do like nothing but fives and sixes. Causes so many problems. There. We need so many better cards than we've got. And so many more cards than we've got. Um. That gave me nothing. What's the deal with this? So yeah, I have no idea how I'm supposed to use my quick use card. No idea whatsoever. Ooh, let's get rid of these flowers. should be tough to interrupt. Oh, gee, thanks for the two recovers when I'm at full health. Thanks, Donald. You're you're doing great. You're really helping me out here. to try visiting a Moogle room. I'm sure it'll be good for us. We still need more CP, so I'm gonna do that. But then I'll try and leave it alone for a little while, at least. Because we do need more HP as well. So... Do I need to just 
hit this more? Or do I need to hit you? Okay, Sora, try hitting the flower and not the wall. And hopefully no one breaks this. They sure tried. Let's use some of that. And then we'll go with that. Okay, I was trying to get both of them, but failed to do so. Ah, oh, why the flowers? Well, at least we managed to restock our things because these little horn duders used a low number. Don't get ruined, Gooey. Gooey? Goofy. Alright, so we got that. But now we gotta restock because a pair of ones is not quite enough for things here. And we've got to restock again because I used too many of my cards. Alright, so this Goofy and Simba combo should do pretty well for us. Yeah, of course that didn't. Oh, it can call more flowers. We need to get rid of you. All right. Ooh, a seven, Donald. That's a little tougher to get rid of. Oh, you jerk. And there we go. Okay, that's just Moogle P. So clearly we're supposed to do something about this. Maybe if I do something with that giant flower in the middle, something will happen. Let's stock that and that, and then we'll stock that as well. And then we'll try to get some flowers in a line. And get rid of those. No one break it. Good. Okay, flowers are dead. We've leveled up. And now it's just you and yay, we win. Alright, HP boosting. Alright, so yeah. Did, did that accomplish anything? Doesn't look like it did. Am I supposed to go back through here? No, because that doesn't lead anywhere, so... Why... Why can I do nothing here? No button I have is making a difference. Like, I can't cast fire on this. I can't seem to investigate it. And I can't seem to investigate anything else either. Am I supposed to, like, jump on the box? Why is this box still here and targetable? 
Jumping on it does nothing. What's the deal? Why, why can't I go through the door? Did I have to kill that all the way? Apparently. Okay. Problem solved. So we need a one or higher. Let's do a Moogle Room. See if we can get anything neat for our Moogle Pee. And also, let's give this a smack. Hey, look, some free Moogle Pee right in the Moogle Room. Ooh. A fire, some more Moogle Pee. Still more Moogle Pee? And nothing? Alright, Moogle, what's up? What's your deal? Ooh. Excellent, we got another zero. Okay, so there's blue, green, and red card packs, huh? So it looks like green is items, red is attacks. Well, let's get more reds. We definitely need more attacking options. Apparently we can just happen to get uh, the deluxe things, too. Premium, that's what they're called, premium. So ones are very trashy, but everything else is okay. Yeah, every time we see a one, we are sad. Because ones just don't get to stick around because literally any card can break them. And they can only break zeros. All right, let's earn some points. Getting rid of some ones. And some twos. No, well, the twos, yeah, we'll get rid of those. And we'll get rid of that one and that two, even though these are premium. And we could probably stand to get rid of this three as well. So, could we potentially get more clouds if we bought blues? Maybe. Let's get rid of that three. And this three. And then this three. And with that, we can afford two more packs of stuff. Though so they're sold out of the reds, even though it says 24. Oh, we can only get one blue or one multicolor. Is it worth getting a multicolor? Or do we want to get a blue? I think we want to get a blue in case we can find a better cloud. Well, we got a nine Simba, that's nice. All right, let's edit our deck. So, might be worth keeping both of these Simbas in here. So that does put us over. Um, can get rid of the one, and the two, and the two, and the three, and that three, and wow, we've got like no attacks left after that. We really need more CP. But um, where where was that zero? There's that zero. Two zeros. And then, considering these attack for a D plus, 
and these are C plus, and these are C, and yeah, everything is better than Kingdom Keys. Everything is. So we'll plop that in. We're really running out of stuff. We should probably get rid of that cure. And I... We'll need to time it right or combo it with something, but this, I feel, kind of obsoletes this a little bit. I'll probably regret that. Get that eight. Yeah, thing is, when you're using higher numbers, the CP builds up fast. But the fact that we got more Simbas definitely means that we can get more clouds. All right. Well, that puts us exactly at our CP limit. What do these guys even do? Extra hit to normal combos, extends the range of attack cards. Boosts the power of attack cards when low on HP. None of those sounds super worth using. I mean, this is kind of nice, but... I'm not going to even try and squeeze them into my deck. All right, so this takes us somewhere, but this takes us somewhere we have to go. Oh, that's a box I've already opened. So, yeah, or no, we don't have the ability to go in there because we need to find the place to use the key of beginnings. So, we'll go through here. Two or higher. Hey, look, it's a three. And it gets us treasure. I like treasure. And is this... Nope, that's somewhere we can't go because we don't have one of those fancy schmancy door cards. Got some Moogle Pee. More Moogle P is always welcome. Yeah. A two. Come on. Give us better numbers. Seriously, give us better numbers. Okay. Four or higher or zero. So we could do Sleeping Ambush. Or Sleeping Darkness, rather. Not Ambush. It says easy to ambush. That's where Ambush came from. Um, just looking through at what we can do. Striking first deals heavy damage to Heartless, eh? Let's see just how heavy the damage is. Okay, I guess that was pretty heavy. And there goes Goofy. And this is gonna go. Yep. Eh. I don't have any Keyblades to use. All right, give me something low or give me a moment. Damn it. So does our potion get restocked? I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. Multiple hits to multiple enemies. That is a very fine use of our stuff. Courage. 
All right, now we gotta use this again. And there we go. So the first strike dealing heavy damage thing doesn't help so much when there are multiple waves. Jay, now we just need wisdom. This should do just fine. And using friends at the start of a combo is far from bad, because if you lose them, then oh well, they never get refreshed anyway. Okay, game, thanks for turning me around to attack the chest thing, the box, when there was a Heartless that I was pointed at. Yep, the game just knew I definitely wanted to attack the box instead of the Heartless. Wait, that was it, Goofy? All right, so if I do this, then this, then this, then we guaranteed get our potion off. Come on, Goofy, hit the rest, or don't. But hey, we got another nine Goofy. Yeah, he definitely moves based on where I'm moving. Two of them. And there we go. So now we know the game likes to aggressively target uh, boxes instead of enemies. Yay, we win! Ooh, a new slight. Hey, it's that thing that I don't think we ever used in Kingdom Hearts 1. But we'll take it. Okay, 24 to 26. Oh no, we used that. It was Slapshot that I don't think we ever used. So, uh, oh, do I have to... Oh, you're an enemy. Or no. We must have stepped on one of these little guys. I hope that does damage to all of them and not just one. more stuff before I can use this combo. Ah, they keep breaking me. Like everything. There. Oh good, it hit them all even from this range. Uh, give me that goof. Or don't. Well, way to just smack one of them. There we go. 
Those flowers are annoying. They have such high numbers. They can break so many things. Yeah. Gotta get that Moogle pee. Thanks for spawning where I was jumping to instead of somewhere I could smack you and get my bonus damage. Yeah, Donald gets broken immediately. Because that's how this works. Basically, if you get a friend card that's a zero, it exists only to get a card break, not to actually have its effect. And I just tossed away my potion. There we go. I need to find something that increases the odds of getting enemy cards from a given enemy type. Because some enemy cards are really good, but you need to actually get them. And just you left, and there we go. Yeah, when I can get the first strike, it is really nice. Oh, hey, a potion with a six. I think that's slightly better than our regular potion. We need to get a mega potion thing or whatever with higher than a three, though. Because that thing basically just doesn't get to be used without being in a combo. And by the time we get to it in the deck, we don't have cards left to combo with. I don't know why I used the Simba, because that 9 Simba is basically guaranteed to go off anyway. Our six Simba is still pretty likely to get to go off. So the nine Simba basically never needs to be comboed with. All right, bit more HP, please. What is this? Thanks for attacking the box again, Sora. Why, there's nothing I like more than attacking boxes when I could be hitting enemies or other environmental things that haven't been hit yet. Way to hide in the freaking shadow instead of dying. Ooh, a nine Moogle room? Well... That sure is accomplishing nothing. So we gotta kill this flower over here to unlock the doors. And get some Moogle P while we're at it. So now we can go, I guess we have to go over here cause we can't go to either of the other places cause that requires the Heartless card, and yeah. So this is where we must go. Five or higher, eh? Hmm. No, we still don't have enough to really need to premium things. What does this do? Roulette bonuses. Don't know what those are, but we'll find out. Bit of a waste using an eight where a five would do, but if it's to figure out what the heck a roulette bonus is, then that's fine. But I'm imagining a roulette bonus gets us a semi random card at the end of a match. So. 
so it does. Uh, but they're not combat cards, so what even is the point? Yeah, if it was like a card that we could use in our deck, I'd be a lot more interested. I'm halfway surprised that managed to actually get off. Thanks for sending it that way, Sora, instead of towards the thing that I actually had targeted. Alright. Let's get this flower. There. Now big boy is all that's left. And we don't really gotta care too much about him. We just gotta attack him from behind and that's it. Oh, treasure. And I hit it too early. We could have gotten treasure. Oh well. Got a shroom over here. Give it a smack. Get that card. Ooh, an eight. That's nice. Wait. Oh, right. This isn't uh, do massive damage with your thing. Room. Actually, since this is never able to be refreshed anyway, we might as well use it to start combos. Just barely reached it. Donald, eh? Hey. Oh, hey, we got a treasure. Alright, so it looks like there's nowhere to go but down. when it starts off with so few dudes of such low power. All right, a six ain't bad. Goof. That's not a great goof. Oh, that was interesting. 
had an extra button pressed to do a thing. I don't think we've had that happen yet. All right, down a little further we go. Got some Moogle pee. We're not getting many roulette bonuses. Hooray. And hey, we got a roulette bonus. Okay. Got it. I like treasure. And let's give this a smack. Okay, it's got some health in it. Not hugely useful, but there are worse things. Stop with the card breaking. And we'll use this, because it'll also hit everyone here. There we go. We're definitely doing a little better than we were earlier before we got the Moogle Room. And what do I want out of these? I think I want that zero save room. Do a little more HP. Yeah. Oh. Where'd it go? Yeah. And you too, and there we go. What do we get? That's not interesting. Give me good cards. Oh good, thanks to the final hit being a round slash, we managed to hit more than just the mushroom. Of course that wasn't gonna be it. It broke Goofy? I thought he was an eight. Do these ones just have even higher numbers than before? I kind of wish it wouldn't auto-select the refiller thing unless I was out of cards. That's what that is. Yeah. And then we'll give that a smack. And then, considering it's well past time, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Join us next time when we head in there and actually get to see the story of this wonderland. See you then, friends. <laughs>